This is VOA News via remote. I'm Liz Pelka. The World Health Organization has urged countries not to impose flight bans on southern African nations due to concerns over the new Omicron variant. WHO's regional director for Africa, Machish. Disu Moeti called on countries to follow science and international health regulations in order to avoid using travel restrictions. The WHO praised South Africa for following international health regulations and informing it as soon as its national laboratory identified the Omicron variant. Rwanda's prime minister announced his office has suspended direct flights to and from southern Africa due to the new Omicron variant. Edouard Nigrente's office also said in a statement that it would now be a requirement to be fully vaccinated and tested to attend events such as conferences and concerts. Cases of the Omicron variant popped up in countries on opposite sides of the world Sunday and many governments rushed to close borders. That came even as scientists cautioned that it is not clear if the new variant is more alarming than other versions of the virus. In an inter interview on Fox News Sunday, the director of the U.S.'s National Institutes of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, says it's too early to tell whether the variant will cause severe illness. The initial cases were mostly young people who tend to have mild infections anyway. We need more data there before we could say confidently that this mm. is not a severe version of the virus. But we should find that out in the next couple of weeks. The U.S. plans to ban travel from South Africa and seven other Southern African nations starting on Monday. More on VOANews.com. This is VOA News. Hondurans voted on Sunday for a successor to deeply unpopular President Juan Orlando Hernandez in elections that could oust his national party after 12 years in power. The candidate most likely to do this is Xiomara Castro of the leftist Liberty and and Refoundation Party. The former First Lady is making her third bid for the presidency and is the only of 13 opposition candidates with a chance to beat Hernandez's handpicked successor, Nasri Asfura, a Tegucigalpa mayor. Such is the level of mistrust among Hondurans in the electoral process that many fear there could be disturbances in the streets no matter who wins. The AP reports at least one polling site in the capital's El Bosque neighborhood opened more than an hour late on Sunday. However, voting appeared orderly. The Kremlin said Sunday it was hoping that U.S. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin would speak via video link before the end of the year. Russia's RIA news agency quoted Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peshkov as making the statement, adding there's no exact date. His comments come on as tensions are high over what the West says are unusual Russian troop movements close to Ukraine. Some Russian sources have suggested they are a part of Russian, a Russian push to secure and frame the terms of another summit with President Biden. The U.S. president said on Friday that he would, in all probability, speak with President Putin and Ukraine President, president Volodymyr Zelensky. Virgil Abloh fashion's highest profile black designer and the creative mind behind Louis Vuitton's menswear collection died on Sunday of cancer. That according to the owner LVMH of the Louis Vuitton brand, the French luxury goods giant said Abloh, who was 41, had been battling cancer privately for years. Abloh is a U.S. national who also worked as a DJ and visual artist. He had been the men's director for Vuitton, the world's luxury brand, the world's biggest luxury brand, rather, since March 2018. A clergy sex abuse survivor and whistleblower who played a pivotal role in exposing decades of predatory assaults by Roman Catholic priests has died. Phil Saviano's story was prominently featured in the 2015 Oscar-winning film Spotlight. The film was about the Boston Globe's investigation that revealed how scores of priests molested children and got away with it because church leaders covered it up. Via remote, I'm Liz Palka, BOA News.